Have you guys seen the TikTok videos where there's there are people that literally take this diamond tester and go around random people or your teacher and pokes their stone? Random people be like, dude, 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 oh, it's a fake diamond. I don't think you're pressing it enough. What's, what's, going, what's going on, bro? Like, I, I ain't trying to ruin no relationships or... Really? Wow. I thought it was real. You know, I'm 19 and out, babe. Well, I tried my best. That's why I was shitting on you with your best friend the whole time. Wow. Yeah. Uh, today I'm gonna address that once and for all because there are actual people that are calling me who've actually bought diamonds from me before. And like, oh my God, Bonnie, I took it to the jeweler and they said it was a moissanite. You need to watch this video all the way through because I invited another gemologist who you guys know I went to New York a couple weeks back and came back with all the amazing footage. She is gonna sit down with us. So let's let's get right into it. Harry, we're so it looks like um, there's another topic that I want to cover, which is like you see TikToks and videos of people like taking a diamond tester. I, I saw this kid going to school, doing it on their teacher's ring. Like, it's not a real diamond. So I was crying, like I, calling the husband. <laughs> you lied to me. So I, I know the technology has really advanced in GCAL and, and in the world. And I've had customer who bought a lab diamond from me, called me very angry saying i went to the jeweler down the street and they told me it's a moissanite and i'm like uh no it has a gcal cert 8x cert and it's identified as lab diamond yeah. so please shed some light on this okay. what is happening okay so 100 percent. if you have a diamond that comes with a certificate you are guaranteed a gcal certificate is guaranteed for the identification okay so that's guaranteed first, right we guarantee the identification of the stone so you can be confident First of all. Yeah. But these diamond testers are simple devices. Okay. And they they aren't always reliable. They aren't always accurate. And in terms of lab grown diamonds, they yeah. just haven't they, they don't they haven't kept up with the technology. Oh, okay. So basically you're using a traditional technology that hasn't been updated on a very high technology updated piece. So basically yeah. it's not matching up. And here right. it we have some samples for so you we guys. Have some samples. Exciting to do a little live uh, test with you guys. So tell us, what what is this? Uh, please hold it so and uh, this, tell this our viewers a, what it is. This is a diamond tester, a diamond testing pen. Um, basically the way these work is either they're testing the thermal or electrical conductivity of a stone. Okay. Okay. So and this so is a simple terms diamond tester. Traditional, it's a diamond tester. This traditional is diamond say. tester that you see on TikTok. You can get them for fifteen dollars or a few hundred dollars, depending on the quality of the device. Okay. But either way, they're basically working on the principles of either thermal testing or electrical. So they're okay. testing the conductivity of the stones. And diamonds are very good uh, thermal conductors. Oh, okay, geez. So now it's ready. Oh, <laughs> it's ready. Wow, that, <laughs> that just shocked, shocked me. Okay, here in this light, it says ready and then it has the word simulant moissanite diamond it even has the word metal so let's let's do okay. some testing okay oh so me you want to oh, hold your okay. finger on these two metal panels oh uh, two fingers yep. on the metal panel okay yep. and now you're going to press the tip onto a diamond okay uh, so hold it perpendicular to the table facet okay yep. like that and just press it right onto the table that's it no sound ah! it's not a diamond ah! let's try it again let's try it again <laughs> There we go. Oh. So what did it say? What did it say? I I, I don't know. I, <laughs> I didn't see it. Okay, let's okay. let's see it one more time. Okay, so that one's testing as a diamond. Okay, it is Phew. a diamond. Okay. Phew. Okay. okay. Wow, that <laughs> got that out of the way. So, <laughs> but sometimes it's not testing accurately. So if it's a natural diamond or lab diamond, it's supposed to both test as diamond? The problem is, is it's testing if the stone is electrically conductive. Okay. Okay. Most natural diamonds are not conducting electricity, but some lab grown diamonds are, right? Lab grown diamonds, the, the main purpose of research of why they're being grown yeah. is, is for tech reasons. So we oh. want superconductor diamonds for, to replace silicon chips and computers basically. Right. right. So what do we have here? Most, so, we've, uh, so here lab we have lab grown diamonds. Lab -grown diamonds. Diamonds. Moissanite. Moissanite. Natural diamond. Natural diamond. And CZ. And CZ. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if you test these lab grown diamonds. Okay. Let's see what let's, it says. This is what it says on the beeping thing. I'll, I'll do it this way so we can. Okay. So it just blinked moissanite. Moissanite. Uh -huh. But these are lab grown diamonds. 
Oh, I know, oh, 100%. Oh, oh. They're my earrings. <laughs> oh. So, so they are lab-grown diamonds, but oh. they're testing as moissanite. Oh, so that's when you call your jeweler and be like, ah, oh, you sold me wrong diamonds. Right. It's just because this tester's too oh, simple. It's too it's, simple. It's too simple. We need to use real instruments to yeah. test. This okay, I got it now. Yeah, so basically for those of you who have called me <laughs> or called people crying about your jewelry, it, it, it's, the, it's, it's the tester. It's not you. <laughs> so to give you guys a rundown, those kind of diamond tester, it's very old, okay? This technology <laughs> hasn't changed for many, many years. And back then, they were not making these to test for lab diamonds, right? So a lot of people are buying lab diamonds and then they're testing it as moissanite. And so the easy way to put it is that it's not your diamond that is the issue. It's the diamond tester that is too old, too dated, that is not testing for the right things. And as advanced as it is, as much time as it took to develop the technology to create gem quality lab diamonds, nowadays they have new machines that actually you can put the jewelry in or show which one is lab, which one is moissanite, which one doesn't look like this. Okay, so Sherry, we are at this fancy machine with all the different types of stone earrings that we had earlier, lab grown, moissanite. CZ, tell us what you're doing. So this, this is a Raman spectrometer. It's very useful for material identification. It's very fast and accurate to identify stones. So rather than a um, little instrument, $50 instrument, yeah. this spectrometer is tens of thousands of dollars. Wow. So very quickly we can mm -hmm. take a look and see exactly what type of material we're looking at. So we're scanning. So we're machining. scanning it. it. The machine is detecting what? So right now, a laser light's going into the stone. It's bouncing around inside the crystal, and it's producing this characteristic diagnostic identification spectra. So very clearly, this is a diamond. It just says so, diamond. So this machine is telling us what type of material it is. So it okay. can clearly identify moissanite, CZ, diamond. But okay. it can't separate natural or lab-grown diamond. Uh, For because, that, we go to another instrument. Right, okay. So let's take a look at, so 1300 with diamond. And let's take a look at moissanite then. I'm curious about moissanite because a lot of people love moissanite. So let's take a look. So you can see the spectra of the moissanite is completely different than the diamond with two strong peaks. So the, the fingerprint spectra of moissanite is completely different than diamond. Same thing with CZ, it's mm -hmm. very different. So now there's two peak lines where earlier with diamond it's one and then at, at different places. So now let's mm -hmm. take a look at CZ. So when we're using this instrument, we're comparing it to known samples. So we have a whole library in here right. that we compare the spectra to mm -hmm. known samples. Okay. This is the same type of instrument that you're, they're using in forensic laboratories. Oh, wow. Yes, this is a very reliable method of material identification. It's mm. used in all different industries, much more reliable than a diamond tester pen. Oh wow, that's right, because that one is what, $15 okay. and this is tens thousands. of thousands. Tens of thousands. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, Sherry. Thank you. Okay, so the biggest takeaway of this story, and thank you, Sherry, for sharing all your wonderful knowledge with us. I love her. She's so packed of knowledge. She knows so much. She's the senior gemologist. We've also been sitting down with many other things like CBD versus HPHD. We also talked about diamond fluorescence. So make sure you don't go anywhere and hit that subscribe button. And I really take a long time to make this educational content for you guys to enjoy. And the reason why I'm making this type of video is that I want you guys to be educated, to be transparent, to know exactly, to have that knowledge and take it to your uh, jeweler and be like, okay, okay, this is what I want to know more about. This is what I understand. Be smart. Leave all your comments below. Has this ever happened to you? Where so, or have you ever seen someone use a, a diamond tester to test your diamond? Don't freak out, okay? Make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on Instagram at Bye Bonnie Jewelry, and I'll see you guys in my next episode. Bye!